seawater has been getting warmer, more acidic and with reduced oxygen content for more than 20 years because of global climate change, which results in shifting species distributions and alteration of growth of fish populations. Climate change is dramatically affecting the Mediterranean Sea, which is warming three times faster than the rest of the oceans. The Mediterranean marine ecosystems are experiencing the following macroscopic and measurable impacts. The shift towards more thermophilic biota, an increased vulnerability to tropical invaders, the increased occurrence of phenological shifts, and the occurrence of unprecedented large-scale mass mortality events. The growth of tourism in the Mediterranean, especially in the Adriatic coastal areas, and the effects of climate change will continue affecting the stability and the erosion of landscapes, soil and coasts, exerting pressure on species and water resources, and increasing waste dumping and sea pollution, which ultimately affects biodiversity. The project BECAMAS will act directly on marine biodiversity conservation in the Catolica and Rimini Riviera, which is a famous touristic area characterized by sandy beaches and a very gently sloping bottom. The large number of tourists represents a unique opportunity to trigger a behavioral change in society. BECAMAS has the main scope to enhance marine biodiversity, mitigating the effects of several stressors, climate change, fishing activities, the presence of alien species and coastal tourism. Climate change will be mitigated by enhancing local biodiversity through the recovery of damaged ecosystems with innovative multifunctional artificial reef. Selected non-indigenous species will be exploited by local restaurants and valorized as commercial products, while the impact of coastal tourism will be limited by increasing tourist awareness involving them in scientific tourism programs. It is urgent to mitigate the effects of these key stressors and to consider adaptation options in partnership with local communities, decision makers, civil society organizations, research bodies and other socio-economic actors at local, national and regional level, also through the co-design of different approaches.